All right, so today's session. We're outside for most of it. Um, a lot of jumps, a lot of fast stuff today. So warm up, just showing a little bit of what I do to get it loose. Basic, some, you know, dynamic stretches. Just loosen up. Uh, these all, you can read them right here. As always, workouts on the right side, sessions on the left. So a bunch of different stretches just to get loosened up. You know, usually I'd rather just play spike ball or do a game, but I don't really have friends out here, so we just got to make do. Then we do a little bit of light jumps, uh, some single leg pogos. These are great, these like deep range squat jumps. Every rep you go a little bit higher, uh, but you let yourself sink down all the way. So you're, you're getting both that full like stretch into the bottom of the, of the squat, and then just building power out of it, every rep a little more intense. All right, jumps. Russian scissor lunges, these are real fun. Um, you feel really cool doing them. They look decently cool, I guess. Um, there's always some room for improvement. Getting as high as you can while scissoring the legs back and forth, just rip it. Um, these are fun, good way to loosen up. Uh, next jump, that was a vertical one, now we're going horizontal. Repeat single leg bounce. So we're going left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. So it's eight jumps alternating to each side. And we're just doing sets of this until I can't get past the mark and that's the mark right there so let's see do I get it oh yeah easy so you just keep doing reps of it until you can't PR I think I did like eight or so and then we're going consecutive hide and jumps or lateral bounds so similar concept as a regular bound but now we're just going lateral so same thing doing five in a row and once I cannot beat the mark then I'm done same thing. I think I did a little less sets here. I think I did like eight sets, eight or ten sets there, and then I did probably five sets in the lateral before I couldn't go any farther. Then just a little bit of accessories, uh, some core and some ankles. Just simple stuff, nothing that intense. I just always see actual athletes do like random exercises after their workouts, kind of like feeder things. So like, yeah, let's do it. It's kind of fun. Good way to finish the, the turf session. So contralateral plank, that calf raise. Um, this one is fun. Cause, uh, let's see, I'll pause the right place. No, come on. There. So you get a little bit of a stretch in the hip flexor, not a ton to be better if you're a little more elevated, but you know, it's not that bad. So one leg's in a glute bridge, other leg tap the ground, and then hip flexor raise up. Good burn. Nothing crazy. Very sunny day. It was great outside. Felt great to be outside. All right, now we're in the weight room. High box squats. Uh, it says three. I did five. Five felt better. These just don't. I didn't like these. I don't know. I used to do more box squats when I was like powerlifting and stuff. But like these just don't feel athletic in any way. I'm not doing these again. Um, you know the premise is like it's a smaller range of motion, so it. You get, you get to this position, which looks like uh, this position, you know, right there. Like, it looks like the same kind of knee and hip angle, but I don't know. I just don't think, I don't, I don't feel any kind of, like, transfer. You know, like, that's kind of how I go, pick exercises. Like, does this replicate some kind of feeling or demand as athletic movements that I care about more? So, like, I care more about... How well I can jump and sprint that night, and what, as I can lift. So I'm using lifting as a way to try to improve some qualities. And this, this just feels—I don't know how to describe it—but it doesn't feel athletic. Um, I post this on Instagram on my story of like different variations of small range squats, and I like it just feels better to do it with light weight in a band because then the band is actually pulling you back down. So you get that eccentric like rip back down that you have to kind of manage and then change over. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They're fun, I guess, but like, I'm not gonna do them again. This is a cool variation. Oh goodness, that wasn't even close. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, we gotta work on that, I think. Oh, that's not, oh, that is not a good look. My goodness. Wow, okay. Well, you know, you know, like the rash, the, uh, the, justification for why I didn't dunk that. It's like, I'm coming off hurdle hops, man. Like, I'm not... I'm coming out of a two-foot jump. 
but whatever. Yeah, not that impressive there. But uh, overall, I'll give this an 8 out of 10 on the Sunday session. I would sprint. I'll just play this in the background while I talk for a while. Um, I would have sprinted in here, but my freaking hamstring is so sore from um, Smith Machine RDLs on Friday. So today's Sunday on Friday. Just did like Smith Machine RDLs to failure, and my hamstrings were just toasted. I'm like, I should not sprint right now. And that that's just like, that kind of, ru it doesn't ruin it, but it's like, that's my favorite part of the session. And so when I can't sprint, it's like, you know, the best you can do is 8 out of 10. And so since I got an 8 out of 10 on my joy scale, can't really complain. Um, I learned some things. I learned these are really fun. Haven't done these in a while. These felt great. I learned these suck. Oh, this. I didn't even talk about this. This was just so cumbersome to set up. I was just so annoyed with how many plates I had to, like, set up around the rack so it stayed stable. And so I had something to put my foot against. I didn't film it. I think the free barbell is just a better variation. You know, like it... I love that exercise, the sprinter bridge, but it just didn't really work out well with the Smith machine, which was too bad. Um, but yeah, that was the day. I'm going to try to do, I don't know, one video a week just because of my work schedule, or it's just because I don't really have time to do it during the week. Because I, I work from like 7.45 until 3.30, and then I lift. And then I go to jujitsu, and then it's like 8.30, and I just want to go to sleep. So... Also, can't really film. I don't want to film that much of my workouts during the week because I work at a, I train in a school gym, and I don't really want to be like filming stuff while there's like groups of people around. So you know, maybe later. But um, yeah, I think the weekends are when I'm gonna, gonna get some good content rolled out. Probably do like an upper body and a lower body on the weekends, and just go from there. Um, I'll make a. Someone asked to make a split video, like what I do every week. And that's a good idea, because I have a bunch of videos from like the summer where I can kind of explain how I organize a full week of training. So yeah, I might do that uh, in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.